guys doing it's time for another hair related video and it's time for another product review so this time we have a new line by design extensions look i saw this at my local walmart and i was like this is so dope i love the african centric design of the product i love the wooden type container on the top or the top i should say so this is the african chebe i believe that's how you pronounce it african chebe chibi chebe Grove Collection. I have the Braid and Twist Out Strengthening Cream. And then we have the Anti-Breakage Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. So y'all, let's jump right into it. And I'm gonna to explain to you what I'm gonna be doing in the state of my hair right now. My hair is in the blown out state. And it's been this way, this will be now a month. And so I'm gonna give it one more week. I know six weeks and I can do that only because I'm not adding any products to my hair. So there's really no build up. Uh, a couple of days ago, I added a little bit of almond oil just because I felt like it needed it. So what I'm gonna do you guys with my hair, I'm going to do flat twists. Look at that, look. I gave myself a trim, a couple of, it's been two weeks now when I did that trim. Okay, I'm just gonna comb it out some. Okay. Let's see what the consistency and scent of these products. I think they are beautiful, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? When I saw this at Walmart, it's been like a couple of months since I've had these now. Um, okay, so this right here says, oh, it's in French. Okay. French and Spanish. Oh, that's what type of smell is that? It's like a woody, it's like a musk. Shea butter is in here. Those of you who are allergic to shea butter. Now this is pretty hard to get out, girl. This is, okay. Let's look at the consistency. All right. You have to excuse my nail broke the other day. Ooh, that's creamy. Girl, let's not waste none of this. Put that right there. Very creamy. Very, very creamy. And this is 12 ounces. I'm pretty sure this is either 14 or 16 ounces. Let's see. 12 ounces. I was a little off. All right. This is the consistency of the styling product. Nice. A little bit thicker than the leave-in. Okay, so let's lightly mist my hair with water. We're gonna add, girl, is that enough? Yeah. I'm gonna comb that through to evenly distribute it, okay? And then we're going to add the styling product. 10 cents worth. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to now, I told y'all I'm not good at flat twisting. But we're gonna make it do. Now normally after I flat twist. I like to add a perm rod for extra fluff or uh, to curl the ends, but we're not gonna do that. All right, that's the end. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of the styling product because I can comb it through. Now, honestly, I think I probably could have paired this or should have possibly paired this with a gel. But I'm allowing my hair to sit for at least two days. So, hopefully, that'll be long enough. All right, you guys, let's do the front here. All right, you guys, so I'm doing the same thing, and I am slightly detangling my hair after I apply or before I apply the leave-in conditioner and then I apply the styling product 
and I actually use a little bit of sweet almond oil just to sealing the moisture. Like I stated before, I'm not the best flat twist, but that's okay because I figure since it's on blown out hair, you really can't do no wrong. Now, one thing I'm going to mention towards the end of the video in my final commentary is that, especially if I am going to be using these products on blown out hair, I will probably pair it with a styling gel. In my opinion, these are great go-to products if you want to do a twist out, braid out. There was nothing that was over the top amazing. I'm just being honest, okay? But I would definitely be using them again um, for my go-to twist outs. And so yeah, I'm just gonna be finishing up this flat twist and we're gonna go ahead and continue with the rest of my hair. Ryan Little. <laughs> guys I am done with my jumbo twists I did 10 flat twists the back is probably looking all my life I had to fight I know child charge it to something else but all right you guys now all I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep this in today's Thursday I'm gonna pull my hair back a oh, girl yeah that's what I'll do I'll pull my hair back voila and that's it um this is some of the product it'll dry real good and i'll unravel and like two more days okay all right you guys so now it's time for the takedown again of the design extensions new product line i'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down i'm not sure if i'm gonna use some oil i'm gonna use just a little bit of almond oil hold on y'all All right, just a little bit. That's probably too much. All right. Let's start out in the back first because I don't want the hair in my face. Ooh, I probably should have used some gel, y'all. All right, you guys, so I can already tell when it comes to taking down these twists. Again, these are jumbo chunky twists on blonde eyed hair. All I'm going to do is take them down. I'm only going to separate, honestly, in two or three different sections I was able to separate. I could have if I wanted to, but my hair would have been a frizzy mess by the end of the night. And it's been very humid here in Texas lately, so I wasn't even going to risk that. So I like the look at the end of the day. I would not be able to maintain this look. It is what it is. This is like a a good one night, one day look. And that's and I'm okay with that because I was expecting that. I'm doing look, this is style was done on dirty hair and blown out hair. So here I am doing the very last twist, unraveling, excuse me, the very last flat twist. And I'm okay with the style because as I stated, I was expecting this. I wasn't expecting an over a top style that I can maintain for a couple of days. This is it. This is the look I was going for. I just took the flat twist down. I only separate in areas that I felt I could separate. This is what the back looks like. Yes, girl, this is it, y'all. This is what this side looks like. 
If I were to use these products again, which I would, I would pair it with gel. If I were to use it on blown out hair. So I will be using this again. Yes, the next time I use it, I'm gonna try a braid out, okay? So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care, bye.